It's no secret that our brave military service members have fought to keep us safe and to protect our freedoms. The Appalachian Hospice Care Veterans Committee wants to give back to those who have served with their sixth annual Veterans Appreciation Lunch. We're looking at ways that we can give back to our veterans because we have to deal a lot with veterans in hospice care and, and home health. And we're looking to welcome them back home because some of them never got that opportunity beforehand. So we're having a dinner's luncheon. It's our annual one. We've done it for several years now. This one's fallen on October 31st. It's an opportunity to come and just have people that care about you. We're glad that you're home. We're gonna provide you a free lunch and you can bring someone with you and we can take pictures. You can wear your uniform or your hat just to display where you were at with your military career. And it's just good fun and people here to help you. It's gonna be in Prestonsburg, as far as I can tell currently, at Jenny Wally. What veterans mean to me, I have a family history of people being in the military. I would like to have been in the military myself, but because of medical history, I wasn't able to. Um, it just means going above and beyond, and you're doing a debt for society that we can never repay, and they're okay with doing that, and that's just something that we have to honor. Justice wants to encourage anyone in our community who is able to volunteer to come and help honor our veterans and you'll just get to see a lot of history there and you'll get to learn what it's really like from people who've really lived it. So I spent five years active duty, a little over, um, in the U.S. Army. I was an infantryman. Uh, I've done two tours, one in the uh, Africa area and then one in Afghanistan. Um, to have support from your hometown and uh, from people you know, back home, it, it really increases morale and it boosts the, uh, the effectiveness of the force because, you know, you truly know people care and uh, it gives you that little bit of energy to carry on especially in those areas uh, of combat zones and uh, you, you can push forward and continue on no matter how uh, many obstacles are in the way um, and I really I believe that's important uh, to have and around here um, it's, it's great it's probably uh, when I discuss with my comrades that were active with me um, uh, this area is probably one of the greatest I've come across personally. Um, the support is phenomenal. Um, everybody tries to go out of their way to support the veterans and active military uh, service members. And um, it really, it shows on the battlefield truly uh, in the force. Um, and, and it allows us to carry on and take care of each other. Our biggest meal of the year while you're deployed is Thanksgiving and Christmas. The rest of the time you're eating whatever you've got. I mean, those, those are the best things in the world. When so around Christmas time, a lot of people don't see that. I mean, that's I, the Christmas I spent away from home were spent in third world countries in a war zone. 